Alright, so we're talking to our master now. Our files are mapped. Our code is ready. We're ready to send to our master. And so the first thing we need to do before we send to our master is we want to be sure we build our system. So basically what we're going to do is we're compiling our files. We're using the compiler to compile our code, convert it into binary code that our master will understand. So uh, the way we do that, you can do it one of two ways. You can go to any of your source files any source files you have that you're using, and you can right click and click compile, and you can see we see on our output bar that that compiled. So we don't see any errors, so that actually worked. But the other way to do that is if we click on build and then do build active system, this will actually compile all of the code in the system. This will be sure that you don't forget to compile any of the code that uh, you have in your system. And so that's the other way that you can do that. So now that our code is compiled, we're ready to transfer to our master. Now to publish, we need to make sure that our system is active. If you right click, it should say set as active system. This will be sure that this is the actual system you're wanting to transfer the files to. And we only have one system in our workspace, and so this isn't actually an issue. But uh, you want to make sure that the system that you're wanting to transfer the files to is the active system. So to double check that, you can right click and see set as active system, and if it's checked, then this is the active system. And since that's ready to go, now we're ready to do file transfer. So to transfer the files, you go Tools, then click on File Transfer. All right, so now we're ready to add our files and transfer them to our master. So we just click Add. We can go in and find our files. So if we click the down arrow here, we can see that we can transfer our token file, and we can transfer our touch panel file. And then we click OK. And remember, we can't transfer these files if they're not mapped. And if you don't remember how to do that, go back to the last video. But these files need to be mapped in order for them to transfer somewhere. And so now our files are ready to transfer. One thing we want to be sure, if we go to the files here and see what the actual name of the file is, you can see this file here is a .tkn file. And it's a token file. Now the token file is the actual project code. It's the actual source code that's going to be running in the master. And our master is going to reboot after it receives the TKN file. And if it's the first thing in the list, these other files aren't actually going to transfer and go where they need to go. So to be sure that our files all get where we're wanting to go, we're going to be sure we put that down. I click the down button and be sure our reboot, see how it says reboot? The reboot file, the token file, is at the bottom of the list so that everything else will go ahead and transfer. So now I can press send. All right, so now our files are transferred to our master and everything is working the way we want it to.